pause. You don't have to react quickly. You don't have to jump the gun and actually sell. You don't actually have to panic. Please remember this, that every time you panic, every time you sell out of emotion, every time you sell because there's just a bad news clip, then that's when you start to lose. The way that you win is you make calculated decisions based on your strategy, based on logic, based on your financial plan. Sentiments will change. People's opinions will change. The FUD that's going out would change. However, the technology does not change. Hey guys, so I have a lot of friends that are entering the crypto space also right now and these are friends that they probably were entrepreneurs or they had property investments or they had mutual funds or they had bonds. Aside from not just having property investments that they would buy and hold, they were probably renting out their properties. They weren't really invested in the stock market. I'm not saying the stock market and the cryptocurrency market is the same. I think the difference is when you enter the stock market, you get subjected to days where there's so much bearish news that you would possibly think that the stock that you are buying would probably fall and go down or you would also be subjected to the swings of seeing the market start to drop then go up again then drop again then go up again then drop again go up again the difference in the stock market is you get also subjected to the feeling that you bought something you cut loss into it then it started to fall when you cut loss it went back up once again or the feeling that you've bought something took profits because you were so excited about the gains and you were so fearful that if I don't sell this, I might lose out on my earnings or my gains. And as you started to sell it, it started to continually move up as well. And please do remember that happens to all of us. Now, even right now for me, I keep banging my head every time I would make that mistake that I, I should not have sold too early. I should, not, I should have waited a bit. I want to cater this video to people who have previous investments and you're finally seeing the light that oh my gosh the cryptocurrency market is the future cryptos particularly bitcoin ethereum and the best ones out there are the future and as you've seen it you've started to deploy capital you've started to invest in it you've started to say that okay this is some merit into it once they started to discover that cryptos are amazing there comes the underlying volatility there comes the drops attached to it there comes the fud coming from for example china is removing all of the bitcoin miners there comes the fud about the infrastructure bill in the u.s there comes so much sources that's just giving fear uncertainty and doubt the fact that people are saying that cryptos are bad for the environment and when you actually look at it it causes people to be scared causes the market to go down causes everything not to do so well the mining of cryptos is very very resource intensive and it's very very harmful for the environment if you don't really study you get to be shaken off of it that particular headline that crypto is bad for the environment when people study it they have to remember a couple of things number one a large chunk of those that they're saying that are very resource intensive, that are bad for the environment, are proof of work type of mechanism, which is what Bitcoin is. But what a lot of people also don't understand is that, okay, proof of work, resource intensive, but a lot of the miners are using renewable energy. There's a larger chunk of miners right now that are using renewable energy than the traditional ways that are very, very harmful for the environment. And please do note this, that a larger chunk also has deviated from proof of work. A lot of them are moving to proof of stake, proof of authority, or other consensus mechanisms that are not as harmful. It doesn't matter what the new cycle is, there will be something that will cause fear to people and suddenly make it drop. Now that being said, what should you do when you see tokens and cryptos drop? May, June 2021, that wasn't the narrative and when markets were going down. Eh? When you go back to 2020, March, at the height of all of the lockdowns, that wasn't also the narrative. When you go back to late 2017, early 2018 when the markets are dropping, that wasn't the narrative as well. People were scared. First things first is this, just pause. You don't have to react quickly. You don't have to jump the gun and actually sell. 
you don't actually have to panic. Please remember this that every time you panic, every time you sell out of emotion, every time you sell because there's just a bad news clip, then that's when you start to lose. The way that you win is you make calculated decisions based on your strategy, based on logic, based on your financial plan. So every time you see those news items that are not so good, digest the information. Don't log in to your crypto exchange because it might cause you to act in a way that you might also regret later on. And I'm saying this because it happened to me also. I made a lot of decisions that looking at it from hindsight, I should not have done. I made a lot of decisions that when I started to analyze it, hmm, I should not have done this. I should not have sold. So take the time, stop, pause, Take the time to digest the information. If it's just something that doesn't change the technology, then why should you panic? Why should you be scared? Please remember this, that when we're investing in cryptocurrencies, it's not like buying Forex or cryptos that it's particularly based on an economy, interest rates, inflation, debt cycles, etc. The main underlying reason why we're buying cryptos is the technology behind it. You buy Bitcoin because of its technology. You buy Ethereum because of its technology. The same is true for BNB, for ADA, for Chainlink, for VET, for PancakeSwap, for Uniswap, for Tita, for XLM, for XRP, or for any other token out there. You're buying it because of the technology. It's just that it's in tokenized form that it feels like you're buying a currency. Earlier this year, when Bitcoin went from 28, 30, 40 to 50,000, everyone was so excited. But when Bitcoin went from 64 to 55 to 50, everyone was so scared. But please remember this, the technology didn't change it. Bitcoin at the start of the year to Bitcoin when the market was dropping last May to Bitcoin right now, September 2021. It didn't change. Sentiments will change. People's opinions will change. The FUD that's going out would change. However, the technology does not change. So if it's not something that will change technology, if it's not something that changes what's happening in that particular token or coin, why should you panic? And here's what's interesting. When we saw Bitcoin drop, when we saw Ethereum drop, please remember Ethereum went from around 4,400 to 1.8. Bitcoin went from 65,000 to 28,000. Wallets holding them increased. There were actually more wallets holding Bitcoin and Ethereum right now. Also at the time when the markets were dropping mid this year as compared to some point in 2020. The adoption of the technology is just moving forward. People using it are just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And we're not going back from this, eh? So why am I saying this? And why do I want to keep hammering this to all of you? Every time there's FUD, every time people are causing you to be scared or panic, check out the underlying technology of what you invested into. If that did not change, why should you be scared? If that did not change, why should you be frightened? Why should you panic sell? And that will always go back to how much your understanding is on the token and the coin that you're buying. Because if you have a firm understanding on it, then you won't panic sell. If you have a firm understanding on it, then you won't be scared. For sure, Bitcoin is amazing. For sure, Ethereum is amazing. But if you're buying it just because it's popular and you don't know what a smart contract is, you don't know what blockchain is, you don't know why it's store of value, you're just buying it because you're hoping that it moons it 10 xs you got it all wrong. Whatever you're gonna earn will always be a recipient of how much you know because given that there will be volatility, if you don't know it, you will easily be shaken. I encourage you, use this time. Use this time to build the knowledge and understanding into it. If Bitcoin drops, I'm not gonna be scared. If Ethereum drops, I'm not gonna be scared because I took the time to understand it. And I encourage that for all of you. Now is the time more than ever because we're still so early. If you think we're late, no, 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 no. We're still so early. It's good to be a marathon runner in a world full of splinters. Take the time, don't rush, 
do things at your own pace. But at the end of the day, do a deep dive. Learn it so well that you know the technology inside and out. That when it drops, because if it doesn't change the technology, you won't be scared. And you'll have diamond hands. And you'll be able to huddle. And you'll be able to do things that 99, 98, 95% of the population aren't doing. Because not everyone wants to take the time to be able to learn what it is. So I hope you guys got a lot from this and I hope that this was something that was insightful that helped you also analyze things in terms of what are you supposed to do because the markets won't go up forever. The markets won't go up in a straight line and there will be drops. And what you do during those drops will determine how your portfolio will be as well. That's it for now. This is Marvin Vermo. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon and God bless you all.